Hey guys, Brandon from Burns Lawn Care. Thanks for tuning in for another video. And today, I'm buying a complete piece of junk. So guys, I found this Walker MB on Facebook Marketplace, and uh, it's pretty much ready for the scrapyard. Um, the guy hasn't been able to get rid of it. Nobody's been buying it. I made him a ridiculously low offer. When I say ridiculously low, I mean it. The worst offer you could ever make on a Walker machine, <laughs> and he accepted. So I'm on my way to Maine now to buy it. Um, I've seen the pictures. It's pretty ratty looking. Um, it's been sitting outside and neglected for a long time. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. I still don't even know why I'm buying it, but you know what? I figured for the price I'm buying it for, I can't go wrong. Um, so the, the plan is to try to, to try to get this thing going, to try to rehab it and see what happens. And, uh, hopefully we can bring it back to life. It does have a Briggs and Stratton Vanguard 18 horsepower engine in it. And from what he says, it's blown up. Um, I don't know if there's a hole in the block or what's going on. Who knows? We'll know more when we get there. So stay tuned. I left Massachusetts with a full tank and uh, just got into the main border here and had to fill up again. Only getting about six and a half miles per gallon. That's on the highway. Tank of fuel doesn't go very far. All right, so we're in Maine now, just getting some gas. Just gonna do a quick check over on the trailer, make sure nothing funky's going on. Everything seems to be good. All right, guys, so here it is. This is a Walker model MB. It's a 2006. It's got the Briggs Vanguard 18 horsepower engine in it. It's in pretty rough shape. Sat outside for quite a while, as you can tell. All right, so here's what we got going on. The uh, Briggs and Stratton engine is supposedly seized. It's got a lot of water inside the cylinders and it doesn't even do anything. So may have some machining involved in this engine. I'm not sure. Um, the hydro supposedly work fine. Obviously we'll have to put new fluid in them. Um, don't know much about these ones, but um, everything seems to look decent on this tractor so far. So overall, it's not it's not too bad, but it's going to require a lot of work. This is a 42 inch side discharge deck on this machine. All right, so we just got the mower loaded up. We're about to make a four and a half hour journey back home to Eastern Massachusetts, and. Uh, Hopefully Renee likes it. We'll see. All right, guys. So what ended up happening last night is on the way home from Maine, I got stuck in bumper to bumper traffic and I got home really late. Plus it started downpouring on us. So I decided to wait to show Renee the mower until this morning. And here we are. Hey guys. Hello. So uh, Renee, what do you think about a old rusty crusty Model B? Well, I, I'm <laughs> 
Well, I can't really say because we've uh, been here before. We've done this before, so it's nothing different than I've seen lately. I gotta say, it looks really tiny. It, yeah, it's like toy size. It's a very tiny mower. When I first came out, um, that was the first thing I said to Brandon. I'm like, oh wow, this is like toy size. But um, no, I think uh, just another project for us to do here. All right, so I'm going to be learning along the way with you guys on this because I know absolutely nothing about these machines, or at least not this type. I learned on the um, MTGHS that we just recently built. And the one thing I can't stop looking at, which I know I have to look beyond things with this, like we did with our other basket case, but this mow is starting to grow some moss on it. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that. I'm like, oh, wow. But anyways. So... Just a little story, guys. We were not in the market to purchase a mower. We have plenty. We really don't even have space for this thing, but here's the story on this. This was gonna get scrapped. It was gonna get sent right to the junkyard. And I'm not gonna tell you what I paid for it, but guys, when I tell you it was the cheapest mower I've ever bought, it's the cheapest mower I've ever bought. Uh, I don't really know much about Model Bs. I have heard some good things about these older ones and I've ha have heard some bad things about the older ones. Um, you know, but I'll form my own opinion on it once I start working on it. So I, I have a question here, a, a candid question, because this is on screen. Why is that front caster wheel off the ground? Hmm. It's a good question. I don't know the answer to that. That's strange, huh? I don't know. Is a tire flat in the back causing that? I don't think so. No. No, it's just the left side. It's like one of these is maybe bent or something. I guess we won't know until we dive into it, but... Ooh, that's feeling pretty sloppy. So, this has the Briggs Vanguard 18 horsepower engine. Um... You know, uh, I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest with you. Um, not bashing Briggs, but I don't really know too much about them. What I do know about them, I don't really care for. Um, it needs a rebuild. The guy told me that the motor seized. So, going to have to tear it apart and rebuild it. Um, he said the hydros were working fine. I have heard good things and bad things about these hydros. I also heard that uh, getting new ones is almost impossible. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I'd have to look into that. But basically, the plan on this thing is, before we go out and spend a lot of money on it, is to get the engine running. Um, I'm going to tear the engine apart and rebuild it. And at least if the mower's junk, I got an 18-horse Briggs that I could get rid of if I had to. So, you know really can't lose out on this mower for what i paid for it it's got the 42 inch side discharge deck very small um you know just on a side note does that have a different crankshaft than our leaf loader probably i don't know though i'm not oh. sure i was just curious because if god forbid the mower is junk i was wondering Maybe we could just have a spare motor for our leaf loader. We do know what happened to our leaf loader last year, but it's probably a different size shaft, I would think, or something. Right. I'm not sure, though. We, we haven't looked enough into it yet. So what I really wanted to do with this before I started investigating the, the parts on this thing was I wanted to get rid of this motor and put a Kohler in here. Well, for me to do that, everything's different. Um, this is the older style B. There's actually different parts in here that that would have to be changed over and it'd be kind of a nightmare to make it work. So pretty much stuck using this, this engine platform here to get this thing going correctly. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. I won't, I won't do anything with the machine yet until I get it running and see what's going on. Um, if the hydros are no good, this mower may, may go to the scrapyard, you know, um, Really, there's a lot of unknowns when you when you pick up a, a machine like this. I know a lot about Model Ts. I've never really dove into a B, um, so this is going to be a first for me. It looks like a pretty simple mower 
for the most part. Really not too much going on here. It's a little tiny machine, so I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty working on it, but it's going to be a learning experience, I think, for the both of us, right, hon? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I'm not going to go crazy on this mower. we got a lot of other fish to fry. i got three engines to build. Um, I have this engine that needs a rebuild here. I have a 26 horsepower Kohler EFI that's sitting in the garage and I'm gonna build for you guys on camera and convert it to a carbureted setup. And I have the engine, the Kawasaki engine for the Skag that needs to get built. So we're busy. Yep. We got a lot of work to do. And we're in leaf season. And we're in leaf season <laughs> and we're gonna be running around with our heads cut off. But you know, everything for the most part on this tractor is here. I don't see anything that's missing. No major red flags. The body's in pretty good shape. It's not all rotted out. The deck was in pretty good shape. It's not all rotted out. Um, so yeah, the the main tractor doesn't look bad at all. Just, uh, you know, we're not able to test anything, obviously, because the motor's blown up. So I'll start there. I'll, uh, like I said, build the engine, stick it back in the machine, see what happens. And then, uh, you know, if the rest of the machine's good, then I'll take it a step further, and that'll be taking uh, the shell off here, sandblasting it, and uh, painting it. I'll probably take the deck and carry a frame off the machine as well, and sandblast and paint that. I'll check the gearboxes, probably end up rebuilding the gearboxes while I'm in there. And uh, we'll see. Get this thing looking like it did back in 2005. <laughs> 2004, right? No? 2004, 2005. I don't know. It might even be an 06. Let's see. 2006. This is a 2006 oh, okay. model. All right. We'll try to make it look like it came off uh, the showroom floor in 2006. Maybe. Maybe. If we get the engine running. Yeah, if we get the <laughs> engine running and, and a bunch of other things. Hey, babe, I think you should sit on the tractor. Um... Not today. Not Why? Today. I don't like the look of that seat there. Oh, come on. Brandon, we don't know what could be living in that thing. You guys want to see a funny sight? Let me jump on it. Here, I, don't, babe. I don't know what kind of <laughs> bugs could be in that. I'm probably going to swallow this little machine. Ugh. Do I look funny on it? Yeah, you do, <laughs> honestly. It is small. It's a toy size. It's a toy size, but I don't know. Seems pretty nimble. Hmm. Oh, that's why the hydros are unlocked. I was wondering why the the levers aren't throwing back like they should be. Hmm. <laughs> Jesus. That's that's different. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I'm getting rained on at the moment. So if you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.